Tis the season to give, and there's a new way to give at the Red Cliffs Mall in St. George. For the first time, people in southern Utah will have access to Light the World Giving Machines, sponsored by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. 106 cities, 15 nations, and five continents. From Hong Kong to Honolulu, Manila to Melbourne, from London to Las Vegas, and now here in St. George, Utah. Since 2017, the Light the World Giving Machines have raised more than $32 million for local and global charities. Five local nonprofits were chosen to help those in need through the donations of the giving machines. The first is the Washington County School District Foundation. The second is the Dove Center, Switch Point, Doctors Volunteer Clinic, and the Southern Utah Chapter of Sleep in, Heavenly Peace, Sleep in Heavenly Peace. It's surprising to me to find that we have over 9,000 low-income students in our district that are served through those, those needs and the resources that they provide. We have over 800 students that are homeless. The goal of the vending machines is to provide an opportunity for everyone to have a chance, everyone in our community, to have a chance to experience the joy that comes through giving. We thank Thee for the courage that it took the founders of these charities to step forward and act in behalf of thousands and even millions who suffer from the strain of poverty. A child prays for peace on earth and she's calling out from a sea of hurt. Oh come, oh come, amen. Located near the Dillard's entrance are three vending machines waiting for would-be donors to fulfill the needs of others. I truly believe that people are just good, kind, and hearted. We were born that way. We were born with goodness. A special ribbon cutting ceremony kicked off their unveiling. By purchasing gifts out of the machine, local nonprofits will be responsible to purchase and hand out those items for their clients. We have a number of different offerings in the vending machine from helping us serve families and individuals in shelter to helping them with move in kits so that they can have what they need when they move into their first apartment. So it's very thrilling and exciting to have the visibility in our community for Switchpoint. Many people, like the Entz family, receive joy from helping those less fortunate with what they need. We chose to buy kids school clothes because it was really meaningful to us to be able to provide those for kids since we have our own kids to know that those in need need those school clothes. The gift of giving is really important to us to be able to show our kids how to be able to give back to the community is great. I think the novelty of the machine is the fact that you can buy such a unique thing. You can go buy medication, you can go buy a doctor's visit, you can go buy a bed, you can buy um, a, a change of clothing or a pair of tennis shoes. And so that what I love is the novel idea that in one place, you can do all of those things plus buy a chicken. These women bought 10 live chickens through the vending machine, which will be donated to those in developing countries worldwide. We usually spend around 175 on a goat, and we're fine with that, but they didn't have the goat, so we went with the chickens. <laughs> this man purchased a sleeping bag in what he hopes will go to someone who may even be homeless. With, with the cold nights that we've been experiencing down in Washington County, we are in need of sleeping bags, we're in need of blankets, we're in need of hygiene items, and so those dollars will get turned into those goods. But it's so helpful for us being a small agency and limited resources to store items. And each of the not-for-profits um, chose the items that would have the most meaning to their particular organization. So maybe the items that were most needed at that time. Once the items are purchased, the donor receives a digital receipt letting them know where their gift will be distributed. And actually through the year we will do an accounting process with them to actually verify that those monies were spent on those specific items until everything's been utilized. 
After two weeks, these machines will travel to other cities in Utah, giving them an opportunity to give. So these are actually traveling machines. So they're going to go to Ogden for two weeks and then go to Orm for two weeks. So we're actually sharing them with three cities. So we were lucky to be the first ones to get them, to prepare us for the holiday season. The Light the World giving machines are available during mall hours. Thank you for your vision, for your work, for your inspiration. In St. George, Melissa Anderson Community Education News.